let's solve few worded problems on fractions so let's take an example so the question here is how much is one month as a fraction of a year how i like to do such problems is that i always fought for the word of as you can see here whatever that comes after of always goes in the denominator of a answer because our answer is going to be a fraction because that's what we need to find out how much is one month as a fraction of a year so we are choosing some parts of a whole which has been divided into equal parts and we write those some parts in numerator and the quantity that represents a whole in the denominator in the denominator there will always be a quantity that comes after the word of in such english worded examples and whatever that has been asked to be found as a fraction will come in a numerator so we have one month now these are just words we need to convert them into quantities because in the numerator we have a month and in the denominator we have a year but we know that a year is composed of 12 months isn't it so you may consider that a year has been divided into 12 equal parts and that's what we are writing in the denominator and in the numerator i can write one month and i can simply write this as 1 divided by 12 because both in numerator and denominator we have the word months we can say that one month is 1 by 12 of a year and that's how we can complete our answer so if you understand this technique let's solve one more worded problem now consider this example if ajay ate six slices of a pizza which had total 10 slices and remaining slices were eaten by his older sister amrita what fraction of pizza both of them ate again let's first take ajay and then we will write amruta and i have written these two in different colors now let's compute the fraction of pizza that ajay has eaten so ajay ate six slices of a pizza so th this is the word of and a pizza so a whole pizza will come in the denominator while finding out this answer and how many slices did ajay eat he ate six slices can i convert the denominator into slices a whole pizza had 10 slices so i can write 6 slices divided by 10 slices and this gives me the answer as 6 over 10 so ajay has eaten 6 by 10 of the pizza or we could say 3 by 5 of the pizza if we divide 6 and 10 by 2 in the numerator and denominator so ajay has eaten 3 by 5th of the pizza now what about amruta amruta has eaten four slices but in the denominator first we will again write the pizza because she has eaten the remaining slices of the whole pizza so a pizza in the denominator and four slices were remaining right because there were total 10 slices and out of those six were eaten by ajay so amruta ate four slices that means the fraction of pizza that she ate is four slices divided by 10 slices and that gives us 4 by 10 and if we divide by 2 on in the numerator and denominator we get 2 by 5 as a fraction so ajay ate 3 by 5 of the pizza and amrita ate 2 by 5 of the pizza and i am sure amrita is not going to be happy because ajay ate more pizza let's look at one more problem how many hours are 15 minutes because we know that one hour also means 60 minutes right now with the same logic Two hours will be one twenty minutes. Three hours will be one hundred and eighty minutes. But clearly, because fifteen minutes are less than sixty minutes, the number of hours that fifteen minutes represent is going to be less than one hour. And that's how we know that the answer is going to be a fraction. And because this is a fraction, we want to know how much are fifteen minutes as a fraction of an hour, so that we can represent fifteen minutes as number of hours. So we find fifteen minutes as a fraction of an hour. and so this is 1 hour in the denominator which is nothing but 15 divided by 60 minutes which is 1 over 4 and 1 by 4 is also known as a quarter so how many hours are 15 minutes quarter hour is 15 minutes now let's go for the other example in the other example we have if four friends received three chocolates each how much fraction of total chocolates each of them has received let's just say whatever total chocolates were there were distributed among four friends to find a fraction 
that each of them received we need to know total chocolates that will be in the denominator because if i spot the word of i have total chocolates after that which will come in the denominator so total chocolates in the denominator and in the numerator we want to find how much fraction of total chocolates each of them has received if we just consider any one friend everybody of them has received three chocolates so we will have three in the numerator and the total chocolates are four times three because everybody has got three chocolates and there were a total four friends so total chocolates will be 12 which is in the denominator which is four times three and that is three over 12 three over 12 can be simplified as one by four because you can divide in the numerator and denominator by three which gives us one by four so everybody got quarter of the total chocolates because there were four friends and everybody got equal share of total chocolates each friend get equal part and thus the answer wouldn't change even if we place any number instead of three chocolates even if we said five chocolates each the total would be five times four and in the numerator we will have five let me just show you so let's say this number here three was five our answer would be five over 5 times 4 and this would still give us 1 by 4. So even though we are writing total chocolates and the number of chocolates each one has got, this numerator and denominator is actually showing you that in the numerator we have each individual friend and in the denominator we have total friends. So that's how we have arrived at the answer here.